everybody. Well, I was cleaning out our tool room today and trying to organize it a little bit, and I remembered. I had a tool that I had purchased about a month ago that I didn't show you. I didn't even give you a demo. I never thought about it because, to be honest with you, it's been so crazy busy here, well, this year, that the tool room, I kind of just declared that as a disaster area. And when I needed a tool, I just go in and scurry through it and then just throw the other tool back. So anyway, now that it was all organized, I found this shiny new box and I said, well, maybe it's time to do a little tool demo for you. Anyway, what we have is a Prince's Auto electric threading tool. Now, I know uh, there's a number of companies that sells what I think is the exact tool. I think Harbor Freight in the US and possibly Northern Tools in the US and, and a few other ones might sell. Uh, it, it's a great tool actually. Now, why did I buy it? Well, heck, I don't know, but you know, it was on sale, like up here in Canada, it's, it's a little bit more pricier than the US, but then remember, our dollar was worth nothing. You know, their monopoly money is worth more than the Canadian dollar right now, so. I think it was uh, $4.29, and it was on sale for $3.99. Oh, no, sorry, it was on, uh, it was, uh, it was around $400, and I think I got it for uh, $2.99, I think. Yes, we'll go with that. Anyway, I'll put the description and the, uh, the actual link to Princess Auto for that tool in the description, and you'll, uh, you'll be able to see for yourself, because, hey, again, it's been over a month, and I can hardly remember what I, what I did yesterday, so I guess old age is setting in. So anyway, let's have a look. We're going to open it up. I have a camera up there, by the way, so hopefully that'll work out. And there it is. And it's a portable electric pipe threader. And it comes with a few tools, a little tool bag, an Allen key. It comes with a little brush, I guess, to clean out your, your dies. It's got a number of dies. It's got a two inch die. It's got a one and a half. It's got a one and a quarter, one, three quarter, and one half. So it's it's kind of a, a neat system. When you get down, when you look at them, they're kind of smaller, much smaller than the others. It comes with an adapter. Uh, the adapter is where, I have to try to figure out where the adapter is. There is an adapter there somewhere, guys. Here is the adapter. So you pull off the adapter and then you can put it on what size you want. Now, of course, you won't need the adapter for the, the bigger die nuts. It's quite powerful. It comes with its own clamp. And it's a, it's a neat clamp. It looks very strong. And uh, it comes, of course, with the actual electric threading machine. There's no specs on it written on it here as such but it's a very slow turning unit. It uh, probably weighs a couple of pounds. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get some plates set up. I'll lay this toolbox down and then we'll come back and we'll uh, see how it works. We'll give it a demo and uh, see if you actually like it. So let's go for it. Okay, so we're gonna lay down, I call them diapers. They actually absorb oil. I believe Princess Auto is selling these now as well, but I didn't buy them at Princess Auto. I buy them from another source. Um, no, for a particular reason. I just didn't know Princess Auto sold them at the time. So they're kind of they're neat. You can throw them on the ground and throw them on the floor, and they can soak up oil. They're much cleaner to use than that absorbent that you use, like kitty litter stuff. So I kind of like that. I shall lay the destructions over there. It has a, uh, a spare set of brushes, which is a nice thing too as well. And it also comes with its own oil feeder, but I have an oil feeder already full of oil, so I'm going to use it. Now, let me go over here and 
Let's see if we can get this thing plugged in. There's a power outlet here. Hopefully it works. I'm going to be out of picture here for a minute, guys. So bear with me. And of course the cord is going to have a knot in it. You can tell these things aren't uh, really rehearsed. Should make these cordless. I'm sure if they do. Yeah. Okay. We're going to use some one inch pipe. Now what I like to do before I thread anything is I actually like to make sure the, the pipe is pretty well straight and I also like to bevel the edges of it. It, uh, it gives the die nut a much, better, a much better chance of grabbing on. Now we're going to put the clamp on the pipe and what you're supposed to do with that. I hope I'm not shouting because I'm not used to wearing a wireless system. But anyway, I'll turn it down in the editing if I think it's too loud for you. So you guys don't be bawling back at me. So you basically take it and you squat it in really, really good. Hang on. Now I'll go a little bit further. Let's see here now. Ah little bit of muscle power there, guys. Okay. So what you do is you take, make sure this works now. See if I can figure it is out. Okay, so what you do now is you take your, oh, I gotta go get my adapter, folks. Hang on now. Okay, here's my adapter. This is kind of a last minute thing for us, this video this evening, because we're a little bit busy today, and I said, well, I'll try to get a video in for you. So that's basically how it snaps in. Not much to it. Now, this might be a little confusing when you first get these things, because on a normal grinder, this is like the lock for the throttle, for the trigger. In this case, it's a safety. So you have to push that on, push that in the same time for it to work. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to put this in like that. Now, here's the reason why I have the diaper. It is highly recommended that you use lots of oil when you start to uh, put your tread on. So let's see, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna put some oil on it there now. It's a little bit tricky to get started. We're doing this in real time here now, so... Now when I'm threading anything, I actually like to back it up a little bit and clean the thread out, so... And we'll do that as well. Let's give her a bit more juice. Okay, so what you do is when you're threading it, you come out right to the very edge of the, the die, and then uh, that's threaded enough. So you hit your switch, which is here, and you back it out completely.
I got that uh, I got that uh, diaper stuff out there now just one second folks like I say this is done real time so now just to show you what kind of thread it is there's the thread and it's a perfect perfect thread so it's quite a powerful machine takes a little getting used to that's the first time I've ever used it so which wasn't too bad but I like to say I like to bevel the pipe makes it a little easier I think the only complaint that I probably would have with it is I'm not real happy about the case when it comes to plastic cases I don't like the flashed over plastic when on the hinge because after a while it cracks off and then you got to try to make a hinge for it and I like the actual cases that got a true hinge whether it be plastic or whatever they almost last forever but you know you get what you pay for and it is a good tool lucky to get a box with it or a case with it I guess so what you do then is just take your adapter off of course now it's slippery with the oil on it and you clean out your your dies and stuff and then you put it away nice and clean I usually use a bit of brake cleaner so that's about it so hopefully you like the, the video just something a new acquisition a new tool we have for the for the shop I've seen times where I've used them I have a manual one uh, a lot of grunt work with that a lot of these guys, by the way, a lot of fellas are using these to, to uh, power up that tubing roller that, that we made up there a month ago. But I decided to go the other route, as you saw by the other video. I got a hole in my glove. Anyway, you guys take care. Have a nice evening. Look after yourselves. Don't text and drive. Don't park in handicap zones. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. God bless.